Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Viz and welcome back today to another video. I know it's been a w little while since we last posted. It's been, I think it's been at least a week or so. Uh, and apologies for that because I said I'd be coming out with a couple of videos. Although it was a rather busy, busy weekend for me, especially Sunday. Wasn't able to get a lot of work done. But uh, as we know, it is now t team of the season time in Ultimate Team. And this just this past week, we had the team of the season most consistent players in which there were actually quite a few nice little players. There was Rooney, um, and I've actually tried Cherchi, Dani, um, Mota, and I think there was someone else that I'm missing. Oh, Martinez as well. Um, and then there was actually uh, Memphis Depay, that 74 rated silver looks pretty sweet. I actually just got him. I was going to go play some games after this with him. But anyway, uh, getting a little sidetracked there, what I wanted to talk about today was the upcoming BPL Team of the Season team that will be coming out on Wednesday. Um, and basically what I wanted to do is just I wanted to give my predictions on what I think those who, well, first of all, who's going to be on those cards and what their stats are going to look like. So we're going to start out here. We're going to start with the defense, and then we're just kind of going to, we are going to move our way up the field. Um, so starting in goal, I have selected Czech, the Chelsea goalkeeper. Um, you can see there I've, I've upgraded all their stats to where I think they'll be. Um, I basically upgraded their, if they had an inform, I upgraded their stats like four or five-ish points. Um, and then their overall, I upgraded by like three, four, or five, depending on like how spectacular of a season they had. Now, Czech didn't have any informs this year, I believe, but he's just been a really consistent goalkeeper all season for Chelsea um, and he's kept a lot of clean sheets and I think in fantasy football or at least the BPL run uh, fantasy football site he is the highest or he has the most points of any goalkeeper in the BPL right now so that is what I think check is going to look like now moving on to our defense I'm going to start with our right and left backs I think without a doubt our right back team of the season is going to be same Seamus Seamus not entirely sure. Same as Colin. <laughs> Colin Coleman. Oh, man, I'm just butchering his name left and right. The uh, the the Everton right back, I think he's going to have a really tidy little card. He actually had a team, or not a team of the season, but an inform last week. And so if anything, these stats that you see here are a little under what they could be. I think we could see maybe around 88, 89 pace, 82, 83 dribbling um 84 defending maybe even and uh that passing is definitely going to get up into the 80s and then we might even see like high 70s on the heading um and i don't think he'll be going for very much just because he'll be rated like 82 83 uh and as a right back i don't think he'll be as highly valued as some of the other players so you'll probably be able to get him from the get-go for under 100k um then moving on we have baines rated at an 87 um, this is just a ridiculous card all around. I, I'm almost positive all of his stats are going to be in the 80s, except maybe for that heading, which might be hovering around to that mid to high 70 mark. Um, so I think he'll be a very, very nice looking little left back. And again, I don't think he'll be that expensive, even though he's an 87. Um, I think he'll probably, my guess is that'll be going for under 200k. Uh, now moving into our center backs. First up, we have John Terry. <laughs> Actually, just uh, talking about the center backs here real quick, <laughs> I think they're two, the, the two center backs that I've chosen for my team of the season uh, are two of the slowest center backs in the league. So number one, we have John Terry coming in at a whopping 50 pace. I think that's what he's going to be. That's what he's going to have on his team of the season card. And 95 defending and 92 heading, I think we'll definitely see stats somewhere in that region, which is just absolutely ridiculous. He's been so solid for for um for Chelsea all season and he, he's scored quite a few goals and I think he definitely is deserving of that 95 defending and 92 heading uh so then moving on to our second center back we have the Arsenal man the big German an 87 rated Mertesacker now I think 87 might even be a low estimate for him I think he could also be an 88 like Terry um <laughs> but unfortunately we're not going to see anything crazy in terms of pace 41 pace. I don't think we're going to see anything <laughs> higher than that, unfortunately. But we are going to see some really ridiculous defending. Um, I think that that 94 might even be... Um, well, no, I think it'll be right in that kind of mid-90s area, if, if not maybe maybe low 90s. 94 might be overshooting it a little bit. And then 
84 or 85 heading. And now the reason that's kind of low is in his card or on his regular card, he actually only has like 78 heading or something like that. And that, so if you look at his in-game stats, he actually has like 80, 80 or high 80s or like low 90s heading accuracy, but it's his jumping that hurts him. And those two stats combined are what equal the overall heading stat. Um, and that's why that's a little lower than Terry's. Um, so his heading accuracy is probably going to be like mid to high 90s, but his jumping is going to be like low, low to mid 80s or something like that. So moving on to, oh, f mm, wait, no, he's not in the team of the season. <laughs> um, moving on to some of the more interesting players. I'm going to start now with the midfielders. We're going to have Stevie G, of course. He's scored a lot of goals this season, just been spectacular for Liverpool. Uh, like I said, scored a lot of goals, just been really consistent for them all season. He's just kind of a rock there in the midfield. Although he had a bit of a bad play against Chelsea this past weekend um, that arguably kind of sparked um, Chelsea's momentum a little bit and helped them win that game. But nevertheless, I think Gerard's going to have a really nice all-around card. You're probably going to be able to pick him up for, I guess it's going to be like the 200 to 250K range. Um, 90 shooting, 92 passing, I think. Those are going to be his two stats you're going to want to look for. And uh, I think you're going to be, or he's going to be coming out of packs as a CDM. Uh, I think his regular card's a center mid, but everything since then has been center defensive. Wait, has he had informs? Ah, shoot, man. <laughs> now I'm not even sure. Anyway, I can tell you his free kick stats and his penalty kick stats uh, especially are going to be super high. His his penalties are probably going to be 99. Um, then moving on, we're going to have Lalana. Some of you guys might not be so familiar with this guy, but he's had uh, just a spectacular season, providing tons of assists uh, and some goals as well for Southampton. Southampton's had a had a fairly decent season for the for the players that they have. Um, I think Lalana's going to have some nice little stats on his card too. Uh, eighty one pace, eighty nine dribbling for sure. Uh, he had an inform, I think semi recently, um, and that card had like eighty five dribbling. So I think high nineties or maybe even or high eighties, maybe even low nineties for dribbling on Lalana. Uh, 79 shooting, I don't think it'll break into the 80s just because he's not so much of a scorer as an assist man. Um, so I think we're going to see right around that mid-80s for the passing. And uh, I, he will be a center attacking mid card, I can almost promise you. Uh, and then so then moving on to our second to last midfielder, we have Yaya Toure. I think there's no one that can, can, <laughs> can argue that Toure is going to be in the team of the season. And I think that... 91 is probably even a low a low estimate for what his overall is going to be. I think it'll probably be maybe 92 or even 93, um, despite the fact that he's only had one in form this season. But he's just been so consistent and scored so many goals um, <laughs> for Manchester City this year. It's been ridiculous. Um, all of those stats are going to be above the low 80s, 82 pace, 84 dribbling, 83 shooting, 89 defending, 87 passing, and 88 heading. And like I said uh, about his overall, I think all of those uh, card stats there are probably, if anything, a little on the low side. Uh, we could even see like low 90s uh, heading and defending. And then some of those might like pace, dribbling, and, and shot might be higher as well. So that that card, I think we won't be seeing for less than 1.5 million because his inform, I think, is 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 going for like uh, 750,000 to like 850,000K right now or something like that. Uh, or that was just right before the team of the season market crash. So it might have gone down from there. But either way, that card's ridiculous. Moving on to what I think is going to be our highest rated midfielder is obviously in Eden Hazard. <laughs> some those those stats are going to be insane 94 pace 96 dribbling 95 shooting and 94 passing uh, I, don't, I don't really think you can argue with these <laughs> that much as well um although he has been on a, on a little bit of a maybe not cold streak i guess he just hasn't scored so much in the last couple of weeks but he's had so many what like three informs this year um so i definitely think that those stats are going to be as high as you see them here now, moving on to the last two players of the squad, we have Sergio Aguero. Sergio, Sergio Aguero. Um, and the reason I picked Aguero over Sterling is that even though Aguero hasn't played as much this season because he's been injured so much, uh, while he was in, he was absolutely on fire. 
Um, and he did have two informs. And so I think Sterling is going to be in the BPL, but in the BPL squad, but he's going to be on the bench. And that's actually going to be a pretty ridiculous card. But I'm just talking about the starters here today for the team of the season BPL players. And, and just taking a look at those stats, that's going to be insane. I think we're not going to see this card for under probably like two low low two millions so like 2.3 million maybe i don't know with those kind of stats this is going to be a very expensive card and then last but not least i think everybody would have this man in the team of the, in their team of the season and that is luis suarez 94 rating i think might even be low i think he could get a 94 or a 95 or maybe even a 96 He's just been absolutely tearing it up in the BPL. And I think it was either yesterday or today. I can't remember when, when I read it. Um, he won the uh, Players Association uh, Award for Best Player in the Premier League this year. Um, so last year, his his pace was also in the high 80s. And I think that's where, gonna, where we are going to see it again this year. 98 dribbling for sure. 97 shooting for sure. Because his third inform has 95 shooting, I think. So if anything, that could actually maybe be a, a low estimate. We could see maybe 98. Uh, 87 passing actually might be low. I think we could actually see that at 90. And then 85 heading is probably about where we're going to see those. So that about wraps up the squad and my predictions for the BPL team of the season this year. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It'll be interesting to see how accurate my predictions were on who's going to be in the starting 11 and what stats they actually end up with. So I'm also going to have a couple of squad builders hopefully coming out soon. I just had a couple exams last week, um, so my, my fr I might have a little bit more free time this week. So you guys can look forward to that. Uh, but until next time, my name is Viz. Peace out. Take it easy, guys.